a user request to me uh, for upload multiple images in esp.net car how to do this so uh, i'm creating this video so thank you very much for uh, commenting uh, for multiple images so uh, welcome in my channel asp.net call so first of all uh, you can add models into your project to upload multiple images so the first model is related to the product uh, product and the second model is related to the product images just i want to say a single product have multiple images you can say so a product have multiple images that is the mapping between the product and the product images you can uh, you know that so uh, the name of the class is the product image you know that uh, the product have uh, two properties uh, the first thing is the first is the id and the second one is the title a product have it id property and the title property or just i am giving you a demo of the up upload multiple images in esp.net core so the product images have some properties like id and the string type property of the image url you can say okay so how to create the mapping between the two product uh, two classes between the product and the product image so just going to the product a product have multiple images so just create a mapping between the product and the product images so public i collection and uh, in which you can pass product images okay and uh, property is product image okay now the second one uh, class is the product images you know that uh, a image is directly related to the single product so public product and the product so just type it product okay and uh, the property name is also similar with the class name product okay now after that the next thing you can do into your project that is the data context class create a new folder that name is data and in which you can add the context so new item and the class name is uh, data context or you can say application db context application db context okay and uh, i have already a db context uh, code and you can say you can also add the application db context with the identity db context class so just copy that and paste under the application db context class and in which you can see that db context is uh, resolving issues or you can say that package issues so resolve some packages and new download just newly created uh, newly updated version of the uh, db context packages okay and finally you can add uh, some db sets like the uh, like your tables like your models so db set that is the one is the product and the second one is the product images now just go to the model folder and see the name of the class that is the product and resolve namespace that is the products the second one is the products images just so just copy that and paste
and here you can see the product and uh, just replace with the pro product with the product images okay and the name of the uh, table also changed product image okay now the next step is going to add the connection string in uh, your app settings .json file so just add a connection string so just copy that and just paste under the app settings .json file and change the database name that is multiple images and also add some services into your startup files So just copy from my notepad my already existing code and paste under your services. Okay. And use SQL Server as, as, as well as the application DB context. That is the namespace uh, issues. So first of all resolve the application db context and after that you can uh, add nuget packages for the sql server so first of all resolve namespace for the application db context that is already exist in the data folder and use sql server uh, that is the package error so just add a packages manage nuget package and uh, add sql server so just go to the browse tab and uh, search SQL Server. just uh, install it I accept all these terms and conditions okay So you can see uh, your problem resolved using SQL Server and uh, Microsoft Entity Framework Core. Now the next step to add a controller for the products. So add a new controller. Just right click on the controllers folder and just add a new controller for the product. Because just I want to say that the first thing to add uh, that is so just right click on it the controller uh, folder and add a new controller just add it uh, MVC controller with the view using entity framework the model name is the products oops 
model name is product Okay, and uh, your product controller is ready. Okay, and the product controllers and the first uh, thing to add. Okay, and now add the next controller that is product images into your project. After that, uh, and change some things and uh, here you can see that is the product controller product image controller and here you can see that the create add uh, create a get method and the post method as well so add some migration first of all add migration first migration and uh, build succeeded update a database command in your package manager console to create a database stable after that you have to run your uh, product page first of all add a product into your database table The first product is flower. Okay, now created added. Now in the product images, the main topic is at here. In the product image controller, first of all, add iWeb host environment, and also initialize that iWeb host and environment into your uh, controller uh, constructor that is underscore hosting environment equals to host and uh, hosting environment now in the create section you can add a view model pro images and in the pro images you can see we have two properties the first property is directly linked to the list of iform files where you can say uh, list of images and the second one is the product id so the product is uh, mapping with the product class now the pro images we have two properties so in the view model and images initialize in the view back so a list of select list is there context dot product dot to list id and title and just pass to the view section you can see that uh, model we have a view model initialize with the view model and in which we have two properties the first properties is the product that is the select list and the second property is a list of images first is the select and asp item is bind with the view back asp4 is the product and the first option is the select product the second property is second uh, divisions in initialized with the images multiple images you can say and in a form tag we have multi-part form data halt okay just after when we click on the submit button then just go to the section of product images controller oops just close that product image model 
that is the view model you can see pro images so when we click on the submit button that view model is passed to the uh, post section of that controller so just open that and uh, here we have two things is uh, received at uh, create post action uh, in the uh, parameter in the view mo model so you know that uh, we have a multiple images so just add a for each loop for the images and upload file one by one so string file name upload file here you can see that upload file uh, method is there and in which you can see that just call method file name is null and file is not equals to null if file is not equals to null then save into the uploads folder path dot combine hosting environment dot web root path uploads file name is uh, assigned uh, with the guid in the file name and upload with the directory in the uploads folder and after that the product image variable create a product image model one by one file you can say that that file name is written in the form of the string after save that file in the uploads folder and that file name will saved into the database table by using the product image variable so image url is a string file name and the product is vm dot product now after that context dot product image dot add the single product image will be saved into the database table and after that one by one will be saved into the context first of all and after that save changes will be applied so product images and the create section Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Here, four files is selected. Yeah, there is four files. Thank you very much for watching watching this video and keep watching all other videos.